We've been waiting for a long time to be adopted. It's hard to get adopted. Never had a family that could call my own. I wish I had a dad that could teach me how to play baseball. When I was young, it was very scary. I, I felt I was growing up by myself. I didn't have anyone to rely on. Every night, they didn't hug me or anything. They just... They just went to sleep. These are the children for whom we work every day. Children simply waiting for someone to care for them, love them, and give them a safe home. And here's the unfortunate reality. A child in America who has been freed for adoption can often move three or more times from foster home to foster home. And she can wait five years or more to be adopted. To a child these months, these years are a lifetime. They simply want what every child deserves, a family and a home. Too many of these children, though, through no fault of their own, are lingering in America's foster care system. Consider the staggering statistics and you'll get an idea of the urgency and the extent of the need. Currently, 1.7 million children are in the child welfare system under allegations of abuse or neglect. Nearly a million of those children were found to have been abused, physically, sexually, emotionally, neglected or abandoned. 500,000 children were taken out of their homes and placed in foster care. And more than 100,000 children are waiting to be adopted and have been waiting for more than three years. And consider this, more children become available for adoption each year in the foster care system than are adopted. Here's the most compelling statistic of all. This year, one out of every five children in foster care will turn 18 and leave the system without a family or a home. Our founder, Dave Thomas, who was an adopted child, said, these children are not someone else's responsibility. They are our responsibility. Like Dave, we believe no child is unadoptable. Every child deserves to live in a safe, loving and permanent home, and no child should linger in foster care or leave the system without the birthright of every child, a permanent family of their own. Pursuant to the authority vested in me by the state of California, Darnell James Cates is declared to be the child of Arthur James Cates and Mary Helene Cates. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. <laughs> There is no more effective way to describe the mission and the vision of the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption than through the voices of children. My social worker said, pack your bag, and I said, why? And she said, because you're going to get adopted. And then my stomach got all, felt like there was butterflies in it. I feel like someone gave me a second chance, and I feel like I was born again. They took me home, and then I knew I was going home with a family, the family that I love. I feel privileged to have been adopted because I have a chance to be loved by someone. I felt like I was supposed to be in this family. Now I'm just a regular kid. Every child, every child, every, every, every child needs love, needs love, needs love. Every child needs love.